hi guys welcome back today in this tutorial we are going to take a look at uh, connection parameters update uh, previously we have seen uh, the PPCP uh, which is the peripheral uh, parameters connection update and uh, now we are going to see uh, some other stuff to which is related to this so after a specific time our device can uh, request for the connection parameters updates uh, so basically it helps in uh, increasing the efficiency overall efficiency of the system the connection parameters update request is basically needed for our system and initially the information is exchanged very quickly between the devices and that is the master and the slave device but later on after some time we can uh, program our device to request to send our request and in that uh, connections parameter update request our slave device can ask uh, the master device to modify the connection parameters as uh, according to our needs and uh, we can uh, set these connection parameters connection parameters of course they in uh, they improve the efficiency of the system they will save the battery uh, because uh, if uh, the connection parameters are set to some high speeds uh, then uh, we can reduce it and if uh, our devices ha don't need to communicate at high speed so we can reduce uh, the speed the connection parameters update request basically depends on the host or the master device and the master device is responsible for this it will allow and uh, accept this request otherwise uh, the master device is going to drop the request and uh, your the device won't be able to update the connection parameters normally we send a specific range uh, so that uh, the there is a more possibility uh, for the master to allow the connection parameters to be updated so now let's uh, do the programming and uh, see what we can do in the programming for this so guys now here is our previous code and uh, this was our step 9 uh, we initialized the services basically we initialized the queue writer module and uh, now the next step is to create a function uh, which is uh, going to initialize uh, the connection parameters and uh, it will set uh, it up as uh, per our needs first let's create the constants which we will pass later on into the function uh, for the configurations let's go here and uh, let's define some constants here the first one is first con parameter update delay for parameter we will just write params and uh, update uh, delay now we are going to use a specific function which is going to convert uh, the time for us and uh, we for this we use app timer ticks each tick can be as long as 31 microseconds or more here let's say 5000 ticks and for the second the next connection parameters update let's say app timer ticks and for this let's say 30,000 ticks it's good to go and uh, last one is uh, max cone parameters update count I will explain this let's first write this code and then I will uh, explain what's going on here max cone params update count and for this let's say 3 once we are writing the function I will explain this so now let's come here right below the step 9 and let's say the step number 10 in step number 10 we will create a function which is going to initialize and uh, set the connection parameters update settings and uh, for that let's uh, say create a function for setting up the connection parameter let's name the function so and it's void we don't need to pass anything and first of all we will create a variable with the error code 
which is going to hold the error code for us. The next step is we have to create a structure and this structure is going to hold the connection parameter settings. So for this we have a structure which is BLE con params in it and so here first we have to include some files so here we need to include a file so this file will be BLE con params okay it's good to go now let's say init init underscore t and uh, let's name it as connection parameters in it now let's clear its memory so for that let's use the mem set and clear its memory with zeros now let's uh, start the configurations p cone parameters is the pointer so we will set it to null uh, let's set the first connections update delay this is the first delay uh, after this delay uh, the first request will be generated by the slave so first con parameters update delay and let's give it the constant that we created above after the first request if uh, the master denies the first request maybe it's busy or some other stuff happened then uh, uh, we can send the next request again for that we have a special delay so uh, this delay would be the next delay so for this next con parameters update and this would be the next delay now we have to set the update count for example it's uh, sending a request one time or two times or three times or four times and after how many requests uh, the update count variable will pause and it will uh, generate an error for that we have to set this value so after this max value for example we have set it to three so after three times uh, if uh, the connections are is uh, not updated by the master and then our uh, device can generate an error for that we will create error handlers and where we will uh, get these errors and event handlers so that uh, after we receive some events uh, we can handle them the next thing we need to do here is uh, we have to set the start on notify ccd uh, handle I, I will explain it later let's set it to invalid now if uh, the connection parameters uh, are uh, not updated then what to do so if uh, the device fails uh, so we can set it here if uh, our connection parameters are not updated what to do do we need to disconnect from the master device or not so here I'm setting it to false so it will not disconnect if uh, the connection parameters update request is not accepted by the master next thing we need to do is we have to give uh, we have to configure an event handler which will receive the events for, for on connections parameters updates so uh, let's create the event handler and uh, let it let's create it just above this function and let's say it to step number 10.1 create an event handler so here we will uh, create an event handler for connections connection parameters update and let's say and for this we have a BLE con parameters event T and let's set a pointer let's create a pointer and uh, first we need to create an error code the next thing we need to do is if uh, the connection error parameters update by the host device has failed then uh, uh, we can uh, do something and if uh, it's successful then we can do some other stuff we can display a message or not so for that I will write a simple code the event 
that we are going to receive uh, would be ble con parameters event failed if the connection parameters update request is failed and then you will receive this event and if you want to disconnect uh, then uh, you can use this simple code using a special function which is and here we will provide the handle and uh, let's say con interval unacceptable and the next thing is we have to check the app error check and here just put the error code variable and it's finished the next thing is if we receive the connection parameters have been updated uh, successfully then we will receive an event and we can check it we can also check that and here we can perform some other stuff like we can display a message uh, or we can do some other stuff right now I'm not gonna write anything here second thing we need to do is we have to create an error handler as well so let's create an error handler this would be step number 10.2 create an error handler for the connections parameter update and let's name it as and it will also be unsigned 32 and let's name it as nrf error and let's use the function app error handler and here let's put the nrf error and this is the error handler and this is the connection event handler connection updates event handler now we will pass it pass them here for error handler we will just use this and for event handler we will use this event handler and once this all is done now we need to initialize it so for that we have a special function and uh, we will just pass all of these configuration to this function so, and it's initialized for that let's write the error code variable equals and here we will use that function ble and uh, that's it for this and uh, it's going to initialize it so uh, that's it for today if you are directly landing on this tutorial and uh, you haven't seen my previous tutorials you are not getting an idea of what's happening here just watch my previous tutorials in order to understand it and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video